morning, my lovelies. Okay, so water aerobics killed me yesterday. Uh, I came home. Um, I think I like. I ate one of my pastries, and then I took a shower, and then I went to sleep. I tried to read. I think I got like two pages in, which is what my page count. Pages read yesterday was was two, so I got like two pages in to Children of Blood and Bone, and then I fell asleep. And I woke up this morning at like 7 something, so <laughs> that happened. But um, I'm actually running a little bit behind, so I just wanted to update you guys. I have not started Red, White, and Royal Blue. I only got two pages further in CBB, so eh. so I need to catch up on my reading count today. Um, I've been looking at other people's like page counts that they've been reading, and I'm just over here like... That's the, I don't know if I'm going to accomplish that today because I have work today from 9 to 2. Then I have to go to my other job from 2.30 to 6. And then I have two exams that I want to get done today so that I can have this weekend to read. Now, I'm just throwing it out there, you know, shooting my shot into the universe. So, what do you guys say? And I'm going to announce this on my Twitter as well. Like, what do you guys say that we all band together and have a 24-hour readathon this weekend? Preferably on Saturday because... Shorty got plans on Friday. Um, but yeah, on Saturday, so that the people who are like, you know, lagging behind because um, uh, Reading Rush was like, people who read less on day two than they read on day one, let's get day three up. And I'm just like, hmm, let me contribute my two pages. Anyways, so I think a 24 hour readathon will really help us, like, one, boost up morale, and two, boost up our page count. And so we can get these books, you know, done quick, fast, and in a hurry. So yeah, like I said, that's all I have to update you guys on. I'm about to hop in the shower, fix this, get dressed, and then head off to work. So your girl is at work, and my coworkers just went to go get lunch without me, and I'm like, that's that's fine. Um, I'll go get lunch when they come back by myself. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So, But I'm at work right now, and I'm technically by myself. I'm watching Why Did I Get Married, and man, there's a lot of drama in this movie, but I live for drama, so I'm enjoying it. But I am also watching Cindy's um, vlog from when she went to Portugal. This place looks so beautiful. Random kid running and jumping. So innocent. Wait until you grow up. Anyways, this is beautiful. Um, so I'm now adding Portugal onto my list of places to visit. Thanks, Cindy. Okay, so I just got out of work. It's about 5 o'clock right now. I'm headed up to my school because I have two exams to take. One of them's due today and the other one's not due until Sunday. But I'm taking care of it today because I don't want to be bothered with it later. So I'm preemptive striking my homework. So... That's it, and as soon as I get home, I'm hitting the books. Not literally, figuratively, as in, like, I'm going to start reading. Because, like I said, my page count yesterday was two. Um, I need to get back into... The, I need to read at least 200 pages today, if I'm being honest. If I want to make myself feel better, I'm going to try to get to at least 200 pages. So, I'm going to see if I can get about 100 pages into Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I'm going to also see if I can get about 200... I'm sorry... 100 pages into Red, White, Royal Blue, and then 100 pages into uh, Children of Blood and Bone. And so that way I'll have my 200 page count, and I will be redeemed in the eyes of my mirror self. Myself. But when I look at myself in the mirror. Anyways, yes. But for now, I'm going to go pick up some Starbucks, because I'm tired. I don't know yet if I want um, a Tivana refresher. A Tavana, a refresher, or like a Frappuccino. Um, it's happy hour, so I have to see what the happy hour is for, and then I'll just move on from there. But I just want to give you guys an update of what's going on, so there hasn't been any reading today yet, but there will be. So stay tuned. Good night. Hey guys, okay, so I just finished one of my exams, so I thought I was going to finish both of them, but I actually only finished one because it took me a lot longer to do than I thought it would, but I have to go to Walmart, pick up some body wash and some deodorant and lotion, and I'm going to go home and read, I promise. I'm going to go home, throw down everything, and read. What is up, you guys? So... 
I didn't. I for, I totally forgot about this. But the challenge for day four, day four, day four, is to show off your reading nook. And like all of your like boops and bops and like your favorite snack and your favorite drink. I'm basic and my room is small. So one, I don't have a reading nook. I kind of just read in my house wherever I can. Two, I don't like to eat and read um, because I don't like getting any like residue on my book. But I do like to drink things when I'm reading my books. So I am a coffee person, so I have already prepared. I got my water in there, so I'm just going to close that. I'm going to plug this in here, scoot this back, press on, and let the magic happen. So yeah, my drink of choice when it comes to reading books is always coffee. Whether it's iced coffee, frappuccinos, lattes, regular coffee out of a pot. It's just good stuff all the time. So, I have my coffee. I have both of my books. I'm going to go read and then edit my vlogs and try to post them tonight. I'm making no promises, but I'm going to read first for the next two hours. Then I'm going to start editing. And then if I feel awake enough, I'll post them tonight. If not, they'll be posted first thing in the morning. Okay, so I did not realize that there were so many like Texas references in this book. Like when he said Fort Hood, I was like, bro, that's where I live. I don't live on Fort Hood. I live like it like next to it, but Fort Hood is literally like two minutes down the street. So technically I live on forehead and I used to live on forehead but anyways that's besides the point holy crap I've never read a book that like gave a shout out to a place that I have lived before and I and I'm feeling like really honored right now especially like since like the president of the oh the madam president of the United States she's from Texas I was like a Texas lady what up so so far I'm enjoying the book I'm enjoying the sibling dynamic between June and Alex and I like the way that this author writes it was a little I had to get into the rhythm of it when I first started it like the first couple of pages I was like mmm but I got into it and I am enjoying it so I'm gonna keep reading and then when I have an update for you guys I will let you guys know bye Okay, so as I'm editing this video, I realized that I didn't do an outro um, because after this, I kind of like got like really frustrated with um, something that I was doing and ended up just going to sleep. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep watching my vlogs, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!